Dr. Matiangi on Friday through a gazette notice declared Tuesday, August 21st a public holiday to allow for the celebrations. On Saturday, however, Chief Kadi faulted Matiangi for going against his advice that the celebrations be marked on Wednesday, August 22nd, in line with the Muslim calendar. How is According to a section of Muslim leaders led by the Secretary General of the Kenya Assembly of Ulama, Sheikh Badr Hamis, the date set by the government is against Islamic teachings and if conducted as planned, will undermine the office of Chief Kadi and therefore cause division among the Muslim community in the country. Mwezi kutisisho maenekana siku ya jumatatu, siku ya jumapili, tare, jumatatu tarehe moja, na siku kuu sawa ni siku ya jumatano tarehe Chief Kadi eh, ni mfanyikazi wa serikali na amepatiwa madaraka na serikali na serikali mempatia eh, mambo matatu ambo kwamba ni ndoa talaka na urathi na hili la mwezi halipo kabisa katika madaraka eh, ya Chief Kadi. It is this confusion that is already causing an uproar. National Assembly Majority Leader Aiden Duale has called for the investigation of Chief Kadi blaming him of contradicting Matiangi's announcement. Duale has accused Chief Kadi Sheikh Ahmed Muthar of abuse of office and causing division among the Muslim faithful. Duale, through his Twitter account, tweets and I quote, Chief Kadi is out of order and should not fault Cabinet Secretary Matiangi on either other holiday date. This will divide Muslims. Duale further says we shall send a petition to the Judicial Service Commission to discuss the conduct of the Chief Kadi for an abuse of office in the discharge of his duties as provided in Article 170 of the Constitution of Kenya 2010. While Muslim leaders occasionally differ on moon sighting before marking the end of Ramadan, division is rare during Eid al-Adha, which means the end of Hajj the annual Islamic pilgrimage in Mecca. Makoriongechi, Citizen TV, Nairobi.